everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a very special Topshop haul today. Recently, I went to Topshop and I did a personal shopping experience. I was invited down by Topshop to go do this personal shopping thing. They gave me a voucher and I also bought some stuff myself. And I basically was there to just kind of try it out and see what it was about. Um, I wasn't obliged to make a video about it, like they just invited me. So I was like, thanks, really, really nice of you. It was in the Oxford Street store, which is like the dream Dreamiest top shop ever. It's just massive. It's got concessions in it and it's just got so much stuff. I went in like this little room which had its little, a little sofa, a, little, like, a big mirror, and like, a little bunch of flowers. Like it was just a really lovely room. There's a few of those. And like the whole like personal shopping area is super nice and like chic and lovely. And they offer you like a drink and stuff when you go there. Like I had a Diet Coke, but they had like Prosecco and stuff. Oh, well. Kind of what they do is uh, before you go there, they ask you what your style is, like what size you are, what your measurements are. Uh, and the idea is that when you go initially go there they've already put some stuff out on the rail which they think you might like some of the stuff on there was like super super nice and I was like digging it but then you could go around the store with them and pick out things and they help you pick out things the idea of a personal shopper is for people that aren't quite sure of what they want to get like don't really know how to style themselves or they've got an idea but they don't really know like what to put it with because I already have like a sense of style and I know what I like it was it was actually quite fun really going around it's almost like just going around shopping with someone like a mate but they they know their clothes shit so that's awesome so anyway they come in these really nice tote bags which say personal shopping they wrap it up or uh oh the first thing I'm going to show you is the thing that fell out the bag I got myself I haven't I don't own one of these so I was too excited about owning one I got a double double belt like a western belt I haven't got one of these but I, I wear belts around my waist like all the time with like my kind of culotte trousers or, or with jeans but predominantly with like looser fitting things just to clench my waist in so I got this one which is double buckle belt um, in a western style I just thought it was really super cool I don't own one I've seen them all over the place and I really like them and I thought it was about time that I actually owned one something that I would typically wear that belt with is the next thing I'm gonna show you so if you watch my videos a lot you will know that I love the pleated clocks that Topshop do like I even made my 2016 favorites these trousers I and I have them in like pretty much every color um, so you can imagine my response when I saw them in this Dalmatian print or like this what black and white cheetah print um so i was pretty excited when i found these um i wear these trousers in black i'm wearing them now i'm wearing them in black now i wear them all the time i've got them in various different colors so yes that belt that i just got i, I would typically wear them around the middle to clench the waist in but these trousers i wear all the time this must be the trouser bag the next pair of trousers i want to show you are so nice and they're really soft to touch. They are high-waisted uh, straight leg, I think. Yeah, they've got rolled up bottoms. Um, and they've come in this really cute black and white stripe. The material is a a thick kind of almost can canvasy like sack. I want to call it sack material because it feels like like a potato sack, but it's soft. Do you know what I mean? That kind of, oh, whatever. I put them on and, and I wore them with a few different tops um, and I just think they're something that I could wear a lot. They've got belt loops as well. I don't think I'd fit that belt in the belt loops, but I could put it on, on top for sure. But I do have a thin belt I could wear with that. A really easy going everyday trouser and it is something that I would wear like so, so much. The next thing is this really, oh, I've got a little snag in my nail and I know that's just gonna catch on everything if I don't remove it immediately. Huh? Yeah. Oh my god, oh, I may have made the situation a little bit worse. This next top is super cute, and one would say it was peachy. Just saw this, this was only 18 pounds. I thought it was just a really cute little everyday top. I really love embroidered words on, on things, and I love it when they come in a nice font. For me, this ticks the boxes. This is a nice font, it's a nice embroidery, it's a lovely peachy color, and it's just on a basic stripe, but I just thought it was a really good everyday t-shirt. Very, very happy with this one, and I like the word peachy. It's just a friendly, nice word. Everything's peachy. Barney wants to come in, I think he likes that top. Oh, he's scratching at the door now. Hi, you all right? Just in the middle of something. Be with you soon. Okay? Yeah. Oh, they're all in now, the whole, the whole gang. Everyone, maybe he just misses me. Do you miss me? Sorry, I've been in here a while, haven't I? Yeah. The next pair of trousers I want to show you are insane, um, but 
It's something wacky that I just want to wear as like a statement piece. And these are these wide leg silky trousers, which again are high waist. Um, and they have this amazing yellow print with this gorgeous floral pattern on it. And I absolutely love them. They're quite like, they're on the smarter side, but you could definitely wear them quite casually. I wore them over a few different things. So you could wear it like, wear it on like a, for something formal, I suppose. And then or if you wore it with some trainers, like some nice white trainers, you could like style up so it's quite casual. It comes with a matching kimono like jacket. And I was really close to getting it, but I just know that if, it's gorgeous and I really wanted to get it, but people are just gonna say that I'm wearing a dressing gown. People around here especially will say I'm wearing a dressing gown. Matthew will be like, you look like wearing a dressing gown. It's just one of those things that was really long and silky. It did look a bit like a dressing gown, but I saw the potential and I just wanted to wear them together because I thought it would be so cool to be really OTT, but whatever. The next pair of jeans I'd actually seen on the website like a week before and I put them in my basket. Then I realized, hey, I'm going down to Topshop next week. I might as well just wait. These are these wide leg trousers with this very interesting like flap here. I was, I actually said when I was in the changing room, look, I'm a plane, look at my wings, they're just moving, you know, like that. Yeah. But anyway, they're high waist, they have a zip on the back, but then they tie at the front, they tie at the front there. I have an annoying body shape in the sense that I've got really big hips and a bum, but my waist is really small. So I have to get jeans big enough that they can go over at, but then I end up having a big gape here. So these are perfect because I can tighten them up. They're not very stretchy, so, you know, for the comfort level, maybe not that comfortable, especially because well, I'm used to wearing loose fitting stuff and stretchy stuff. But I do really like them. They they make me, they're very, I think they look very 70s. Feel very 70s in them, especially because they're wide leg. They look almost flared. Really love these jeans um, as I'd kind of gone off wearing jeans quite a bit. So I'm hoping that this will sort of spark my, revive my love for jeans once again. If you catch yourself in Oxford Street, London, they have loads of concessions on the first floor, like the floor you walk into off the high street. And one of the concessions was Gypsy Shrine. Now, if you haven't heard of Gypsy Shrine, they are a festival glitter makeup brand. They're everywhere at the moment. They're going to all the festivals, which is great. I think they gave some to Love Island as well. So, um, but I got a few different glitters. I did actually get a pot. Um, in a press package in blue, which is awesome. And I was just desperate to get my hands on a few more. So I got uh, Unicorn Dreams. Oh, by Sophie Hannah Richardson. That's so cool, she's a blogger. Chunky Gold and Dark Unicorn. And yeah, so one's like iridescent, one's like, and one's gold. I love wearing glitter. I get like any excuse to wear glitter, like a night out, like a barbecue, getting the girls over. I've worn glitter so much this summer. But yeah, they only sell them, they sell them in the Topshop on Oxford Street because it's like a concession there. I don't think you can buy it on the Topshop website. You'll just have to go directly to Gypsy Shrine if you're not going to go into store. I got this really gorgeous dress, which is an off shoulder, like stretchy top maxi dress in this black and white stripe. So off shoulder, and then it's got these little frilly bits here, but it just fitted me really, really well. And I felt really nice in it because this sort of stretchy bit just sort of clung in on, on all the good places. So I felt really nice in it. And I felt, I've been feeling a bit frumpy at the moment because I've, you know, I've, I've gained some weight when I was on my honeymoon. So I've been feeling a bit like, Ugh, and all my clothes because they don't, quite fit me that well at the moment, but this this made me feel really, really nice and like, mm. but just a really nice little dress, summery dress. Could even like virgin onto autumn, this would be good for autumn as well. I got a basic top, which is a fun kind of basic top. I know I wouldn't have normally picked this up, but the personal shopper lady did and I tried it on and it was actually really, really nice. It's just like this cami top, but it's got a lace front. This sort of stuff would normally scare me a little bit. Don't know why, it just does. But I got that and I and I wore it with a few of the different trousers that I, I've picked and it's really soft. Um and yeah, pretty cool. They do it in like black and stuff. This next top, love it. The zip on it actually goes all the way down the back, which I thought was a bit weird because someone could easily undress me. Big orange top with these floofy sleeves and kind of a rough cut at the bottom. Um floofy sleeves, yeah like poofy sleeve in this incredible orange. This orange is like the color of a calippo. Uh, orange flavor calippo. This is what this is. But again, this went with everything that I tried. 
and I loved it and I loved the colour and it just really popped with the hair colour again this is one I'm wearing this combination big fan big fan of this top the last thing is this was this is one of the perks of personal shopping they can get stuff out the stock room that's not on the shop floor yet so this pink jacket big oversized pink denim jacket wasn't on the shop floor yet and uh, it's got rolled up sleeves. They did it in lilac as well, but I opted for the pink. Just thought it was really fu funky. I don't have a pink denim jacket. I could put pins on it, I could put patches on it. Just it's a good starting point to have a really funky jacket. Uh, it's quite funny though, because it does have rips in the elbows. When I noticed, I went, whoa, my elbow. Yeah, real nice pink jacket. What more can I say? It's denim and it's pink and it's oversized and it's nice and they do it in a few other colours. So yes my friends, that is what I got from Topshop. I will put all the links below to all the products so if you've seen anything you like, go take a look. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like my video, helps me out a bunch. Farewell.